All right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here tonight on the show, and I'm here to talk about game 75. Probably the most exciting Dodgers game I've watched this season. I don't know how they won this game. I didn't think they were going to have a shot. They were down 9 to 4 after 8 innings. But in the ninth inning, they worked some really good at bats. They worked some good at bats. But, we have to go back to that ninth inning. Everything that happened. So it was 9 to 4 going to the ninth inning, and. Well, I'll go over throughout my, throughout this game from start to finish because I don't feel, feel like it's just fair to go into the ninth inning and save the best for last. Um, but you're sorting pitchers for tonight for the Dodgers, Walker Beeler, for the Rockies, Austin Gomber. So uh, it didn't start off well uh, for Walker Beeler. He gives up a double to Ezekiel Tovar. Uh, Charlie Blackman scored, and then a double from Ryan McMahon scored two runs. That makes it three to nothing. So, um, there was a sack fly, I believe, from Nolan Jones. Made it four to nothing. But Andy Paez gets the, gets the Dodgers' first run on his eighth home of the year. He's, he's adjusted to MLB pitching. He started off hot, then he went kind of cold, but now he started to heat back up. So the Dodgers got one run back, but then Montero hits a two-run homer. Pinch hitting for Charlie uh, Blackman, who got injured. I believe hamstring, something was hamstring, so hopefully uh, he gets better. Dodgers were down 6-1 to one, uh, right there. and Yeah, Bueller, uh, he didn't have it tonight. And he just hasn't had it since he's come back from Tommy John. I get it's tough to come back from Tommy John, but if he's not ready, then he shouldn't be up at, with the major league team right now. I'm sorry. Uh, Chris Taylor um, tripled. Uh, to start the third inning, and then um, Shohei with an RBI ground out, so it was 6-2, to two, but not too long. Uh, bottom of the fourth inning, Brenton Doyle hits a homer. He was great tonight. He had, he had a four-hit night. Rob Shohei Otani of a hit. He was excellent. So it was 7-2 to two going to the top of the sixth inning, but Shohei Otani hits his 20th homer of the year, 476 to dead center, the longest homer this year in in, um, in baseball. I believe 113 off the bat, 30 degree launch angle. Uh, the Rockies got one in the sixth. The Dodgers got one in the seventh. I believe from Miguel Vargas, and the Colorado but responds back then in the eighth, inning, seventh inning with a run. To make it nine to four, yeah, nine to four. Six, seven, yeah, nine to four. So that's after seven innings. It's nine to four, but I'm, after eight innings, I'm like, I don't know if the Dodgers are gonna make a run at this, but they did. Um, they worked some good patient at bats. They really did. And it's really from. In the middle, like the middle and bottom of the lineup, you know how we talked about all season? Oh, yeah, this bottom of the lineup, they need to be better. Well, they come up clutch tonight. Andy Paz works a walk. Rojas, single. Well, Kike struck out. Miguel Vargas draws a walk. And there's the bases loaded just like that. And Tyler Kindling, he's been bad. He had like a 7.71 ERA heading into this game for the Rockies. It's not a guy you want trying to finish out the ninth inning. But then the bases are loaded for, um, Jason Hayward, they took out Chris Taylor uh, for Jason Hayward. Great decision from Dave Roberts right there. Uh, Jason Hayward, I believe it was either a 2-2 pitch or a 3-2, crushes it off the foul pole, makes it a one-run game. So Jason, Jason Hayward's a good veteran to have uh, on your baseball team. Then uh, Otani hits a single, uh, continues it, um, continues the game. Uh, Will Smith, I don't know what he was doing. He was trying to call time, but you're not going to automatically get green at time if you're calling for it. Staring at strike three down the middle. He's kind of been cold as of late. They intentionally walked Freddie Freeman. And this is where the controversy, the controversy starts. Teoscar Hernandez. It looked like a strike. It looked like a strikeout. I'll admit it. 
I'm a Dodge fan, made it here. Looks like he went, but it, it's a 50-50 call. I've seen worse calls. Um, I've seen worse check swing calls. And it's 2-2-2 two, two, two can't right there. And if you throw a one-on-one -on -one down the middle to a hitter like T. Oscar Hernandez, who's really good at hitting home runs, that's going to happen. They just didn't execute. Yeah, that was a bad call. But, hey, it happens. And baseball umpires make mistakes. I mean, it happens too much, though. I'll admit that. But that was a bad pitch. 101 down the middle. That wasn't a good pitch. And you can look at that one call, a blown call. That was a blown call. But you can't, you just can't let the Dodgers get that close. Because you had a 9-4 lead going to this inning, and then they just blow it. And I know the Rockies' record isn't good. They're now 25-48, but this is probably their worst loss of the season. Just because it's against a, a, rob, a division rob. Uh, but Austin Gomber, I thought he was solid. He had two solo shots and then uh, t uh, two other runs. I think one from, uh, yeah, the Otani ground out. And one to, I um, uh, forgot who else to. But, yeah, their bullpen just wasn't, just didn't have it tonight. And if you're asking the bullpen tonight, yeah, they probably, they're probably like, oh, we should have been better. Even... Yeah, even with that blown call still, so they should have pitched better. Uh, but yeah, Walker Buehler, I'll mention him since I went over what happened to Oscar three and Homer wins it, and the Dodgers close it out in the ninth inning. The Phillips ended up getting the save, but we'll talk about Buehler here. Four innings, seven hits, seven earned runs, one walk, two strikeouts, so another bad game from Walker Buehler. He just didn't have it. He just he just hasn't had it since coming back from the injured list from the from the Jimmy John or uh, Tommy John surgery. But honestly, the bullpen was eh. I mean, our bullpen was okay. Anthony Bond of one inning, one hit, no earned runs, one walk, one strikeout. Johan Ramirez one inning, two hits, one earned run, one walk, two strikeouts. Michael Peterson making his MLB debut, two innings, one hit, one earned run, one walk, and struck out two. Got his first two major league strikeouts. And a 30-year-old from the UK made his debut, ends up getting the win. I mean, what a story. Getting the win. He gets credit for the win and Evan Phillips for the save. Uh, Victor Vodnik um, for the Rockies takes the loss. Man, I thought, okay, bullpen work from the Dodgers. I mean, that was pretty solid. Besides Ramirez and Peterson giving up one run apiece, I thought they were all solid. Uh, Alex Basia, point two innings pitch, no hits, no runs, one walk, no strikeouts. Walked that batter with two outs, and they put in Evan Phillips to get the save. And faced that one batter, point one innings pitch, no hits, no runs, no walks, and one strikeout. So the bullpen was pretty good. Combined for six strikeouts and three base hits. Or four base hits and two runs. So the bullpen done a pretty good job. For the Rockies, though, Austin Gomber went 6.2 innings, 5 hits, 4 earned runs, 2 walks, 3 strikeouts. I feel like he pitched, pitched as well as he could have against this lineup, but this is where the bullpen, well, Jalen Beeks has been good this year, and he pitched solid. Well, he wasn't great. His command was off, but he got bowed out with a Doyle uh, rob of Otani in center field. Beeks went 1.1 innings pitch, no hits, no runs, 2 walks, no strikeouts, but this is where it falls apart here. Tyler Kinley, point one innings pitched. Two hits, four earned runs, two walks, one strikeout. He's been really bad this year, and yeah, his ERA's probably even skyrocketed from 7.71. Or 7.81. It's probably even worse now. And the command just wasn't there for him. Gave him a few hits. Gave up that one hit, walk two, and then gives up the grand slate. And then Vodnik, point tunings pitch, two hits, three earned runs, one walk, one strikeout. Yeah, just an experienced pitcher. I mean, he throws a lot of heat, but that was a bad pitch on the toe toe to to, to, um, to Oscar right down the middle. But yeah, they dropped to 25 and 48. We improved to 46 and 29. Probably the best win of the season. Seven run comeback. The Dodgers had a total of nine hits for 11 runs. Rockies 11 hits for nine runs. And I understand if Rockies fans are mad because yeah, we kind of got kind of got helped by the umpire, but. It's still unacceptable for a major league base major league baseball bullpen to give up seven runs in the ninth inning. But they did get robbed. I'll say that. But I'll take the win. 
take the first two games in Colorado. I went over the score, the record, the pitching stats, over the hitting stats now for both teams and get my final thoughts. Uh, Shohei Otani, 2 for 5, 2 RBI. Smith and Freeman reach 0 for 4 and walk with walks. T. Oscar, 1 for 5, 3 RBIs. All star him. Andy Pius, 1 for 3, 2 walks. And an RBI and a, and a solo homer, 2 runs for He's the one who started that ninth inning rally with a leadoff walk. Miguel Rojas, 1 for 4. TK 0 for 3 and walk. Miguel Vargas, 2 for 3 walk and RBI. He's been really good at the play in the times he's played. Uh, Chris Taylor, 1 for 2 and a walk. He got had a triple and a walk. Jason Hayward, 1 for 1 with 4 RBIs on that grand slam for the Rockies. Charlie Blackman, 0 for 0. Uh, and run scored. They took him out because of the hamstring tightness. Uh, Montero was the pinch hitter for the rest of the game. 2 for 4, 2 RBIs. Brenton Doyle, 4 for 5, 2 RBIs. Had a homer, him and Montero. Doyle was great. 4 hit 9 and Rob Shoei of Tony of a, at, at least extra base. Ryan McMahon, 2 for 5, 2 RBIs. Tovar, 1 for 5, an RBI. Toglia, 0 for 5. Nolan Jones, 0 for 1, 3 walks and an RBI. Goodman, 1 for 4 and a walk. Um, Jake Cave over three in RBI. Man, he was furious after the game, going after that umpire. And Trejo one for three a walk and two, a one for th one for three and a walk and two runs scored. I mean, that's all the stats uh, to go over. I went over all that happened in this game, but really, I guess my final thoughts: just chaos in that ninth inning. And yeah, I know we got bailed, but that happens to every baseball team. Sometimes it happens to baseball teams where they'll get bailed out. But and the Rockies obviously won't agree. T. Oscar said his check his check swing could have went either way. It could have went either way. It's 50-50. I mean, some say he didn't. Some would say he didn't. Some would say he did. But at the, at the end of the day, he threw it 101 down the middle next pitch, crushed it. So, historic comeback. But yeah, sometimes it happens. That's really my final thoughts. But just one inning, two homers, and seven runs. I just don't, I, I don't have the, any more words. They should just, they not have to extend to Oscar Hernandez. As for the Rockies, the bullpen collapse. Their bullpen's been horrible all season. Yeah, the up wasn't good. I'll, I'll agree with that. Like I've said multiple, multiple times. And I felt Walker was just done as starting pitcher. Maybe stay in the bullpen. But I mean, I've, I want to feel bad for the Rockies, but I mean, there's nothing I can go out there and do. Yeah, was, we had a 0.5% win probability in the ninth and ended up winning. Those pitchers need to be sent to see damn single A ball. I mean, it's really hard to say here. Dodgers win. Uh, 11 nights, probably my longest recap of the season so far, but there was a lot to talk about. But yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe for more, and, uh, until next time, I'm out a lot. Peace.